Hello and welcome to part 2 of the video tutorial Safety for Codices. My name is Volker Marx from Kendrion Kunka Automation and I hope you have installed all the needed files shown in part 1 of this tutorial. Fine! Then I will show you how to create your first safety program in 6 steps. But before we can start, an important note. After installing the safety package, there is a second shortcut for codices with a safety profile on your desktop. Please use this shortcut if you want to write a code as a safety program. Open this shortcut. After starting codices with a safety profile, I start with step 1. Create a basic project. Click on File, New Project, Empty Safety Project and OK. Oops, the device tree is empty. What happened? No problem, in a safety project you have to configure the device tree yourself. Let's go. Right mouse click and then Add Device. PLCs and in this demo I use the code as control win. Add device and then close. Then right click on the application, add an object and add a POU. Then right click on application, add object and now we add a task configuration. Add a call and we choose our POU. OK. Your basic project is ready. It was easy, right? Let's move on to step 2. Step 2. Add an EtherCAD master. Right click on the device, add device, field buses, EtherCAD, and here's our EtherCAD master. Add device, and close. Double click on the EtherCAD master. First we choose a LAN interface for the EtherCAD communication. For this we have to select the PLC network path so that codices can display all available LAN interfaces. Double click on device, communication settings, scan network and here's my PLC, the codices wind control. OK. Then double click on the EtherCAD master and now you can choose the LAN interface by clicking on the button Browse. Then select the network adapter which is connected to your bus coupler. For me it's the USB LAN interface. OK. Step 3. Add EtherCAD slaves. To find the slaves automatically, you have to log in to transfer the EtherCAD LAN settings. So online, log in, and then log out. Now you are ready to scan the EtherCAD slaves. Right click on the EtherCAD master and scan for devices. There were three slaves found. Click on copy all devices to project. Because it's a safety application, you have to type in the username. You can see the available names here. The name in this project is Owner. OK. Now a safety application with all safety devices is inserted. In the next step I show you how to configure the safety I.O. Step 4. Configure the safety I.O. As you can see, the safety I.O. is also inserted as a logical I.O. Double click on the safety I.O. And in this tree you have to set the unique FSOE address. This address must match with the address which is set with the DIP switches on the left side of the safety I.O.
In the next step, we want to monitor the safety I.O. with a function block. Step 5. Use a safety function block. First, we have to add a safety POU. Right-click on the safety app, add object and then add a basic POU. Then we insert the FSOE master block for the safety I.O. With this block you can manage a safety slave. Right-click, insert box and then choose the FSOE master function block. Then you can change the name, don't press enter, and then connect this function block with the safety I.O. Click on the button right to the name, and then select the logical safety I.O. OK. Don't forget to press enter to generate the variable. Now we are ready to test our first little safety program. Step 6. Test your safety program. OK, you want to transfer the safety project to the safety PLC. But first you have to transfer your main application to the PLC. Please note that there are two applications, a safety application and a main application, and the active one appears black. So online, log in. and then debug start. All nodes in the Ethercat tree, including those in the safety tree, should now be green. Then transfer your safety project to the safety PLC. Therefore, you must set the active application to your safety app. Right mouse click on the safety app and then set active application. Online Log in. Now you have to enter the identification number. You can find this number on the front of your safety PLC. OK. Yes. And there's no password. Now you can start your safety application, debug start. For a better overview, select the display mode hex. Debug, display mode, hex. All safety related function blocks have two error related outputs. Error and the DIAC code. In DIA code we see the status of the safety I.O. The high byte is hex 80. That means there is no error. The low byte is hex 68. That means that process data are transmitted. You will find a description of all safety blocks and also an overview of the DIA code in the safety user manual. This manual will be stored in the Codices install folder under backslash codices, documentation, en. Here is, for example, the explanation of the bits of the DIAC code. OK, that's it. I hope this tutorial helped you to get started with safety and codices. Thank you for your interest and your attention. And if you enjoyed it, you can tell it to the world by clicking the like button. Thank you and goodbye.